by and welcome to Kid Concoctions and Contraptions. We're your hosts, John Thomas. And Danita Thomas. As the parents of four energy-filled children, we're always looking for great ideas that make learning fun. And over the years, we've developed hundreds of concoctions and contraptions recipes. And today, we're going to share dozens of our favorites with you. So let's get started. With our first concoction, this is gooey gunk. That's right. And although to the children it's going to look like magic, it's actually a science experiment demonstrating how two liquids become a solid. And this is our gooey gunk. It is squishy, ooey, and gooey. And parents, maybe you remember something similar to this back in the 70s that used to come in a little trash can? Well, that item was $5 for four ounces in the stores. I'm going to show you how to make it today for just pennies using things you probably already have around your house. Let's get started with our first mixture, which is a bowl full of a little bit of white school glue, the same glue that the kids use in school. That's right. And to that, we're going to add just a few drops of food coloring. Or what I like to do is use a washable colorant. That way, if it gets on the kids' hands, it'll wash right off. I'm going to stir this up. Well, Danita makes Solution B. Yes, in Solution B, I just have one and one-thirds cup of water. And I'm adding to that four teaspoons of a Borax Laundry Booster. Now, this laundry booster can be found in most of your laundry sections in your stores. It's, once again, a household ingredient. Works very well in your laundry, too. It really does. I think we, we've gotten kind of hooked on that. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm stirring the glue and the food coloring or washable coloring together. And to this, we're going to add just one cup of water. And the nice thing about this is not only are we learning about science and having fun with the children, but we're teaching them life skills like measuring and mixing that, you know, we want all of our kids to learn to cook, even, even our boys, right? So they're going to take this with them throughout their entire lifetime. And, and it's just a great way to spend time with the kids. Okay, now this is the magic part. Take a look at this. Now the instant these two liquids touch each other, that's when the magic's going to start to happen. And the, the ooey gooey fun part, which, which I always like to do, is reach my hands in here. Let me turn this over and look at this, an instant chemical reaction. We have created what this quantity in the stores would be $20, and we've made it for pennies, probably about between 30 to 50 cents, depending on where you get your ingredients. Right, and not only are you saving money, but the kids are learning while they're having fun. In fact, often they're learning so much, they don't even realize it because it's all this creative play, creative learning. The kids, they'll respond to that so much better. I know I do, rather than studying That's in a right. book. That's right, instead of saying, hey kids, Let's learn about science today. You can say, let's make gooey gunk, and the kids are learning, and learning can be fun. We need, we need to get past that barrier. Learning can be fun, and learning is fun. And we're going to show you lots of ways to make Lots of fun. ways today. Well, if you take a look at this, you can see it's already started to firm up and look like the sample I showed you at the very beginning. Danita and I have made this project, without exaggeration, uh, I would say at least a thousand times. Two minutes of kneading. We'll turn this into exactly what we showed you in the very beginning. Now, the other thing you can do, there are lots of variations you can do with the gooey gunk, is add a little bit of glow-in-the-dark paint. Right, right and if here. you take a look at this, here's some that I made earlier. Look at that bright, vibrant glow. I mean, imagine the kids playing with this outside on the front porch at nighttime. It looks like, it looks like it's neon. It glows up. It's bright. It's vibrant and a lot of fun. Also, you could do maybe for Halloween, put some little rubber night crawlers in there, which I, I know that's not one of Danita's favorites, but a lot of fun and a great science experiment. Right. And when you're not playing with that, just store it in an airtight container or a little zip-tight bag. A little bag. zip bag. Right. And it'll and it'll lasts a long time. A very, very long time. 